Welcome back to the Lone Ranger Radio Show. You got Bruce Woodburn, the Lone Ranger, right here, live and in person, broadcasting to you. We got all our friends on WDBO, 580 AM, 107.3 HDFM, and down in Tampa, all my boners down there listening to the bone. We really appreciate you joining me today. We've covered a lot of things on interest rates. We've covered a lot of things on uh, who should refinance, who shouldn't refinance. If you truly are thinking about refinancing because you've got a rate in the high sixes or sevens or higher, then call me immediately. I will tell you whether today is the right time to refinance or should we wait? I have a list of about 300 people that are on a waiting list. The other 300 people were in the middle of refinancing, but it's not right for everybody right now. So let's look at the times and see if they're right for you. You'll get a real opinion on it. We're not going to give you any shenanigans over here. I will never convince somebody to refinance when it's not the right time to refinance or the right reason to refinance for you. If you're, if you're, just overloaded in debts and you can't breathe, then call me because now is a good time to consolidate, a really good time to consolidate. If you're looking for just rate reduction, then we have to look at how much of a rate reduction are you actually going to get? Should we wait a little bit longer? Are rates going to come down? Well, according to federal uh, chairman Jerome Powell, he said just the other day, now he's made a complete reversal that we don't know if we're going to drop any rates anytime soon. Why? They shouldn't because they have to see how this affects us. It doesn't happen immediately. It takes three months before you start really feeling the effects of a rate drop like they had. So maybe it'll come down a little bit more. Maybe it won't. Then we talked earlier in the show about rates have actually gone up since the Fed cut the Fed rate. If you didn't understand that, then go back and listen to my podcast on the first segment of this or go back to my YouTube channel at Bruce Woodburn, the Lone Arranger, and listen to it on YouTube. You'll hear it right there. The first segment, we talked deeply, dove deep into why interest rates went up even though the Fed dropped the Fed rate. Now, I don't think that's permanent. They're going to come back down a little bit. They're not up high. I mean, they didn't take a jump, but they went up a little bit. So you have to understand that. Do you have a lender that's looking out for the market, watching the market, giving you clues as to what may or may not happen? Talk to my friends, Jason and Caroline. Talk to my friends, Tracy. Talk to my clients that I locked in this week, like Doug and, and, uh, and, and Elvin that, listen, I told them, I'll tell you when it's a good time to lock. And I did. And I saved them because they got it down. They got the rate down before it went back up. So this is what you get. You're not going to get that from Bank of America or Wells Fargo. They don't do that. Their, their loan officers aren't trained. Most loan officers aren't trained to do that. But I am. I'm certified with Mortgage Market Guide on how the market works, how bonds work and how it works behind the scenes. I watch the market. I understand Japanese candlesticks. I understand fundamentals. I know how the market works. Now, is that a prediction? No. Do I have a crystal ball? No. I don't claim to have a crystal ball, but I have a really good understanding of the market. Now, listen, why would you come to me for a mortgage? I mean, let's just face it. I'm a 10th grade dropout, meaning I didn't finish the 10th grade. Okay. I was an orphan at 15 years old. I fended for myself and had a, had to work for a living when I was a minor because I didn't have anybody. I was, I was left abandoned by my folks. Now they didn't abandon me intentionally. My mom passed a cancer and my dad had a heart attack eight months later while I was with him. He and I were working on a boat together and he had a heart attack. I tried to save him. I resuscitated him. I kept him alive till the ambulance got there, but he didn't make it when he got there. So, you know, it's unfortunate. And I don't tell you these stories for any kind of pity. It's not pity. There's no reason to pity me. I have a wonderful life. For a 10th grade dropout, I have everything. I'm financially secure. I help others like you become financially secure. I've helped my employees. I've helped some people become millionaires in my industry, millionaires, and I can help you too. If you're looking to join my industry, if you're look, if you're in my industry already, 
Come to a lender that really understands it. Come to a lender that's got great culture. Come to a lender that cares about their clients a lot and would never do something or persuade somebody to do something that wasn't in your best interest instead of the loan officer's pocket. That's insane. So nobody on my team is even commission paid. They're salary paid. So that's why our rates are low. I'm not paying a, a loan officer a commission of $5,000 for every loan they close. I don't have to do that. So you come to the loan arranger, you get a great rate, you get great terms. I'm a national lender. I'm in all 50 states. I loan in all 50 states. I'm doing loans all over the country right now for people just like you. My friend Bob buying up in, in uh, North Carolina. My friend uh, that's buying over in Georgia right now. I got clients, Louisiana, New Jersey, New York, uh, Indiana, Alabama. I got loans all over the place right now. Colorado, you, you, you need a mortgage? You want a second home? You want to buy investment property? You want to buy another home? I got, you want to buy a, 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 a villa on a ski slope? I can help you with that. Like my friend, Frank. So, and I call these people my friends. They're my clients, but they're my friends. They can count on me. They got my cell number. 407-706-3313 or 813-213-4009. Um, reverse mortgages. Here's another thing. I talk probably more than 50% of the people I talk to out of reverse mortgages. It's not right for you. Here's the people it's right for. You're elderly. You're well into your 60s. Not just turn 65, but you're well into your 60s, 70s, or 80s. You don't have enough money at the end of the month. Okay. You got a lot of equity in your house, but you just don't have enough money. Social security ain't doing it. Now you call me, that might be a good reverse mortgage opportunity for you. But for many of you, it's not, it's just not. So reverse mortgages, not for everybody. So you need somebody that's going to give you an honest opinion of that, not a big sales pitch. So if that's something you're considering, please let me know. Then I want to talk about credit. Okay. If your credit isn't at least 650 and 650 is not a good score, by the way. Okay. Matter of fact, Fannie Mae thinks your average score is 725. That's an average. That's not even a good score. Good score is 750. A great score is over 760. Now, when you pull it up, I'm going to dispel another myth for you. Why are your credit scores so much different than when I pull it up? Because mortgage lenders don't get the same score that you do from Credit Karma or your credit card. That's a consumer score. That's not a mortgage score. So when a mortgage company pulls it up, your score is always, well, not always, but mostly going to be lower than what you're pulling up from Credit Karma. Now, when it comes to Credit Karma, you've heard me say this a thousand times. Don't use it. Go to uh, annualcreditreport.com. Uh, you get a free credit report. Why is Credit Karma discouraged by me? <clears throat> because it's a free service and they're selling your data. You're right. They're selling your data and you don't know who they're selling it to overseas companies that are wanting to know where you're spending your money so they can solicit you or spam you. Same with TurboTax. It's free to do TurboTax because you have become the product. So they're selling your private data. Why would you want to do that? Don't do that. Go to H&R Block or somebody and ask them if they trade or sell your data. At Cross Country Mortgage, we give you a document to sign that we don't sell your data to anyone. And we service almost all of our loans. So you don't have to worry about your loan being sold somewhere else. That way, when you go to refinance, we don't charge any lender fees. We've already got the loan. So there's many reasons to choose Cross Country Mortgage, the loan arranger. But listen, don't just call Cross Country uh, Corporate. Call me so you got me. I had a client the other day call me and they went to my corporate call center in Cleveland. And they were, they called me and they were like, I, I'm, I thought I was dealing with you and I'm not dealing with you and I'm dealing with a call center. And I'm like, yep, that's what you would get. Cause you didn't call me. 
you went right to my corporate office. And then I had to get the loan transferred over here and start it over again. So don't do that. Go to webringyouhome.com and completely your application right there. It's simple. It's easy. Doesn't take any time. I'm right here for you. Okay. Um, I want to talk about your credit. So when it comes to fixing credit, here's a couple of mistakes that people make. First of all, don't hire somebody to fix your credit. If I have to send you to a credit repair company, I'm going to send you to one of three that I actually like. The rest of them, they take your money and you don't get any results. All they do is dispute everything on your credit report that's negative. Well, that makes you feel better because your score went up, but you can't get a mortgage because you got disputes all over it. So it didn't help you. Let's fix it and let's fix it right. So first of all, if you have collections or charge offs, <clears throat> don't call them. Don't pay payments on any derogatory credit. Making payments on a negative account makes your credit worse. You think you're making it better because you're in, you're in good faith and you want to pay them back. No, they report you as past due every month until it's paid off past due rather than just a collection, which might hit you for 50 points. Now you're past due every month, which hits you for 25 to 50 points every single month. And your credit just keeps getting worse and worse. So don't do that. Don't pay any collections by phone. Matter of fact, I don't recommend you pay off collections unless I tell you to. Now, there's a certain way to pay off collections and there's a certain way not to. So if you wanted to pay off a collection and you called the collection agency, they're going to want you to pay it over the phone and they might even give you a discount or cut the amount that you owe them. Don't fall for it unless you have no intention on buying for a year. Then you could do that. But if you want to buy now, don't do that. I'm going to show you a technique that I've used to help hundreds of people raise their credit score far beyond what you ever thought it could be. I just had a client that had a 543 credit score. I got him up to a 733. How do you like that? In three months. It's incredible. So listen, don't do it yourself. Have a professional do it. Now, when it comes to all of you folks that like, I don't know why my credit score is not higher. I pay off all of my bills zero every month. Well, don't pay them to zero. Leave $5 on it because when they're zero, the creditor doesn't have to report you. So you're not getting the good report. You're only getting the bad report. So don't do that. Pay them to five bucks. Now, there are some cases where I'll tell people in order for you to qualify, this has to be zero. So that it don't think everything I tell you is always. Everything I tell you is sometimes. But in most cases, that's the case. Now, if you're one of those people that charge your account up and go over the limit or at least over 30% of the limit and then pay it at the end of the month, you may be reported by the creditor when that balance was at the highest. You don't know what day that was. So now you're wondering why your scores aren't better. So don't charge up high and then pay off at the end of the month. You'd be better off to put it on two different credit cards and not go above 20 or 30% of the available limit. It would be better to do that than pay it off at the end of the month or pay it down to $5. Now, my credit techniques for getting credit scores for good score borrowers higher is different than for low credit score borrowers to get them higher. There's different techniques for that. So the loan arranger has all those techniques and that's what I'm there to help you with. So if that is you, then you call me, I'll get you fixed up. You don't have to pay anything for my services for credit, for credit uh, enhancement. We'll run detailed AI analyzers on every debt you have until we've got it just perfect. Okay. Listen, I ran out of time today. I'm so doggone sorry. I had so much more to talk about. So if you have questions that I missed, call me text me at 813-213-4009. That's 813-213-4009 or 407-706-3313. Or go right to my website at webringyouhome.com and complete your application now. I'll be back.
next week, same time, and on Saturdays with Cleve. Just go to the same place or watch me on YouTube or Spotify. I'll see you then.